is Lachette, and I'm back with these dangly earrings um, and a new video for the YouTube Pagans ABC talent. Today we will be doing the letter O and my topic is oils. Now not essential oils but carrier oils or base oils. The stuff that the essential oils are carried in. They carry the essential oils into your body um, in various ways, however you use them. And they diluting essential oils into these carrier oils is what makes them safe for us to use on a regular basis. Um, so essential oils are... Um, I talked about them in my essential oils video and um, they are very concentrated uh, oils from mostly plant life, uh, mostly from um, various plant life. And um, if we did not dilute them, we could burn our skin. Like, I don't know if you can see this properly, it, it helps if I actually put my finger in front of the camera come on focus focus not on my face focus on my finger anyway um can you see the difference between my index pointer and uh my other fingers there it's because i was not thinking and like i had i was missing some butters and um some body butters and other things for orders and um, I think a little bit of essential oil kind of like slid down the edge of a glass and I was just like Zoop, not really thinking um, because this was I was done no gloves on and essential oil burn on my fingertips and um, it's not something that I really felt at the time, but my skin is discolored. This is just one or two drops. My skin is discolored, very wrinkled, and has been peeling for a week. And I've done this before, and I should know not to. Um, but there it is. But that can happen all over. It could be even worse, uh, depending on the essential oil, how much you get onto your body. It can feel like a little, a literal burn. Um, and, you know, your skin can turn red, uh, even black in some cases, peeling, itching, um, just, it just deadens the skin. Um, and, could leave you with scars. Um, there's also photosensitivity that can occur and you might not notice it right away but when you go out in the sun then it'll burn. Um, and just other various skin irritations. So we want to avoid that. Um, and this is all topical meaning like outside the body on your skin which is there to protect your body, the, the more sensitive tissues inside. Um, if you were to take in essential oils undiluted, it would be much worse. So, which is why I say and most experts say that if you are going to use essential oils internally or if you're interested, please do speak with an expert, with a doctor as well as um, an aromatherapist together they can work out what would be good for you and what wouldn't be well so that's why we dilute essential oils and um, by diluting because they're so concentrated you really only need to add a few drops to every ounce of carrier oil and um, they are strong enough concentrated enough that the most of the nutrients, the um, therapeutic properties, the scents will be just as strong um, even though it's only a couple of drops. This is why essential oils come in, for the most part, little bottles because one, it takes a lot of plant matter to create just a few drops, but also um, 
you don't really need that much to get the use that you want out of it. So, um, they're still as powerful and you want to mix it to keep yourself safe. Now, a very, very basic formula, um, it's about 2 or 3% dilution, I believe, is um, f between 5 and 10 drops of essential oils in every one ounce of carrier oil. That's that's what you want to go for. That's what you want to aim for. Um, half that, if you're you making something for children, their skin is still much more sensitive. They're still growing. It's not as tough as us grown-up skin is. Um, and if you know a person is has very sensitive skin or um, some of the elderly, their skin gets very thin and much more sensitive, uh, similar to children, and go ahead and half that dilution amount as well. You can get specific uh, dilution instructions if you go out and look at some books. Um, some ones that I've mentioned in the past, um, in my essential oils video, you can go check that out. I'm sorry, I didn't bring my books with me and they're in another room. Uh, but yeah, I don't want this to get too long. Let's just dive into the carrier oils. So, carrier oils really, they fall into one of two categories for the most part. Seeds and nuts or vegetable oils. Seeds and nuts are the preferred uh, types of carrier oils because they have more nutrients and uh, that's yeah that's pretty much it um, they're higher in nutrients vitamins minerals things that our bodies and our skin in particular would be welcome would welcome um, in and vegetable oils less so um, just in general, that's just the way that nature works, but also, unfortunately, because of the way that many uh, vegetables, or some, I should say, maybe not many, I don't know, I'm not a professional agriculturalist, but um, the basics of what I know is that a lot of vegetables that are grown by humans, not like say wild harvests. I don't even know if that's a thing that really happens anymore, but um, vegetables grown by human beings that are easily gotten by us in first world countries are usually genetically modified, um, which can take away some of the natural nutrients. Um, it can also introduce new ones, so it's not necessarily a bad thing, but just because a lot of the companies, their practices, uh, the companies that do genetically modify um, vegetables, their practices are not so great, you don't know. Um, and many are... Many of the vegetables used for vegetable oils also um, are sprayed with a lot of pesticides, so um, that's another thing that can mess up the what we're looking for. So, damn it, sorry, my screen went blank. I miss my laptop. <laughs> so, but vegetable oils are not all bad. Um, they are in general cheaper and easier for the average person to get um, they sell them in your local grocery store so um, if this is something that you've used in your cooking and whatnot and you haven't found any issues then I don't see if you're gonna use if you're gonna create something for your personal ritual use or um, beauty, skincare usage, then I don't see why not. If you're using a product that you've used before and especially internally and you see no you see no ill effects 
and it's um, it will save you some money, go right ahead. Uh, also, many people are allergic to seeds and nuts, and I'm allergic to walnuts, so I wouldn't use walnut oil. Definitely never happening because I will die. Um, and even just a mild allergic reaction can be irritating and often defeat the purpose of what you've created this for. So, um, vegetable oils are a good alternative for those of you who are allergic to seeds or nuts. So, now on to the actual oils. I'm going to hold up some examples. I've used all of these that I'm going to talk about. Um, first, I'll talk about, I guess, the... Um, properties of each in general, uh, mundane properties, and then um, speak about magical uses. The thing is, the thing is, there's tons of oil, seed, nut, vegetable that you can use for, um, let's say, making your ritual oils or for your ritual bath or for massage oils, um, skin and hair care. Um, all of that and more, uh, it's, it's, there's a plethora of carrier oils and how you choose between them is really, there's a couple of options. Um, how they are processed, if that's something that's important to you, um, some processes are uh, better for the plant and the nutrients you get out of them than others and again this is up to you how important that is um, the color some people are put off by certain colors it just doesn't look healthy or good to them so they don't want to put that on their body uh, that's fine um, again you don't want to defeat the purpose the purpose of using these is to um, carry the nutrients of the essential oils that you want to use to improve your life whether it's your skin or um, for a magical ritual and that won't happen if you're turned off by the color of your carrier oil um, the saturatedness how quickly the oil will be absorbed by your skin some are very light and thin others are very thick and oily and absorb a whole lot slower. They're high, sat, high, huh, highly saturated. So a lot of people don't like too much oily stuff. Um, also, this ties into your skin um, type, particularly your face. So if you have dry skin, high, highly saturated oils, ones that are thicker, um, will probably be best for you. If this is... Uh, if you have oily skin, you don't need as thick an oil for your face. So that's where um, saturation comes in. And um, pricing, obviously, some of these oils are easier to get and therefore cheaper versus more expensive and harder to um, process and uh, sell. Um then there's, so that's affordability, um, the scent. Scent is important as well since these are, we're going to use these as carrier oils. Essential oils, you want the essential oil scent usually to be the aroma that you strongly smell. Some of these have no scent at all. Some have a light scent, some have a medium scent, some have a scent so strong that you can't really use another uh, another you can't really use essential oils with it if you want it for aroma purposes because you won't smell the essential oil some of them even if it's only a light scent mixed with certain essential oils won't be it won't smell great so again that's you up to you personal preference um and I'm not exactly sure how to put this other than the slip. So, like, if you were a massage therapist, for example, or you want to make your own massage oils at home, um, 
for your significant other. Some oils are are slipperier <laughs> than others. I know this is related to um, how saturated some are. And um, I'm not going to go into that technical science part of it here. But um, if that's what you want, something that rubs on easily versus you really got to work at it, then that will help you decide what oils you want. Now let's dive into the oils themselves. So the one I use the absolute most is almond oil. And as you can see here, it's got a light yellow tinge to it. Almond oil is made from almonds. Its uh, full name is actually Sweet Almond Oil. I don't remember off the top of my head why that is, but um, it's pretty affordable, very simple to find. Uh, I wouldn't say your lo local bodega would have it, but um, most grocery stores do, in at least here in New York City. So you can get almond oil pretty much everywhere. It has a decent-ish price. Uh, it's, it's, it's affordable, is my point. Um, it has is low saturation, so it's a light oil. It's not the lightest on my list here, but um, I think there's only one or two oils I have that are um, more easily absorbed by your skin than almond oil. So, that is... Um, it has little to no scent. The scent is very faint and smells like almonds, obviously. So if you don't like almonds for some reason, then you may not want to use this. But honestly, once I put in the essential oils, I don't smell anything from the carrier oil. Um, oh, another thing I did not mention is shelf life. How long the various oils last is another thing that might help you decide which ones you're going to use. Almond oil has a pretty long shelf life and that's great. For my business, Scarlet Moon Creations, it is the kind of default oil I go with. If I'm not sure, um, because I make bath and body products, the base oil, the carrier oil, is not the main ingredient. It's not even the biggest ingredient that I use. Um, the biggest, the the ingredient with the most volume in my products. So it's sometimes I just need a little bit of slip, and it is good for all skin types. Um, not too many people I've come across have, um, been allergic, even with those with sensitive skin. So, almond, sweet almond oil is one I use often. It's very good for massage. It has a nice slip and it's not like, it doesn't run like water or, I should say, it, I'm sorry. It does run a little bit like water, as you can see. It moves around very easily in the bottle there. Um... And so, yeah, magically, it's associated with masculine energy, the sign of mercury, and the element of air. So if your ritual needs something like that, um, like, for example, I would use almond, I use almond oil in my Gemini uh, bath soak because it works well. Gemini is a air sign ruled by mercury so almond oil is absolutely perfect for that if you want to do rituals with regards to uh, mercury um, the element of air with communication with talking words writing um, let's see what else uh, speed travel just things having to do with air, then almond oil is a good base oil to use for your ritual oils or if you're anointing, um, let's say like your incense burner or uh, another tool having to do with the element of air on your altar, 
These are just examples I'm throwing out there. So that is sweet almond oil. The other oil I use... Jojoba oil has a darker yellow color than the almond oil. And um, it is an oil that is made from a seed of a plant here that grows native here in the United States. And it is... Perfect. I would use that for everything except it's on the more expensive side of things and I don't want to make, you know, uh, the prices of my products higher than they need to be. Um, it's What makes it so great is um, it has a similar consistency slip like the almond oil but um, it's slightly thicker. However, it's still low saturation, has a low saturation rate, a lower saturation rate, rate than almond oil. So skin soaks it up very quickly and um, it has no scent. Also, um, it is the closest to the natural oils, the sebum that our skin naturally produces. It's chemically this close to the same exact thing that our body naturally puts out there to protect us with so it almost feels like you're not putting anything on and yet it still you know helps keep your skin moisturized and transports carries those essential oils into your skin and your body quickly and naturally helping spread those nutrients and therapeutic um properties and it's just on the mid to high uh price range i can use i usually only get small amounts i mostly use it if you're interested in my body butters uh more than anything else but so yeah that is jojoba oil next olive oil um I'm not going to go into the differences between like extra virgin, extra light, not original, all of that stuff. Let's just keep it general. I honestly, I grab the olive oil from my kitchen um, because I am out of my usual want. But I grab this and I am not... Uh, sponsored by this brand if you could see it but uh, I grabbed it to show that you know you can get a lot of these oils from your local grocery store olive oil olive oil is popular almost all over the globe you've used it in your food you've definitely um, if you bought uh, cosmetics have had olive oil in your cosmetics for one reason or another it is, however, high saturation. The color ranges from like a greenish yellow to dark green. And the darker the green, the more acidic. Um, darker green olive oil, I believe, comes from Greece and the Greek olive trees directly. And for whatever reasons, it's more acidic and not really good for skin purposes. So... Uh, just check on that. Olive oil has a lower shelf life than most of the oils here. Um, though it's still a pretty, a relatively long shelf life. It is, again, high saturation. It's more, it feels more oily because it sits on your skin longer. Um, so it's not soaking in. It's great for those with dry skin though, like I mentioned earlier. Um, it's uh, depending on what type of olive oil you get. If you're getting extra virgin olive oil, that's usually more expensive than just regular olive oil. It's up to you how you want to do that. Um, but it is associated with the sun for all Olives are associated with the sun, again, masculine energies, the element of fire. Um, I use olive oil in my sun bath soak, for example. Um, it's great for rituals with healing and fertility in mind. Um, 
just as examples and also um prosperity so if you can think of other reasons and other uh, rituals for using olives you can use olive oil as well next coconut oil this is this is what it looks like in the winter time. It's solid. In the summer, it's a liquid. So, um, coconut oil, one of the oils that is people get a little confused by, um, if they don't know, is the fact that um, it's uh, heat melting, it's melting um, point is uh, big. There's a big difference than most oils. I don't know where my brain is going, you guys. So yeah, um, it's thick, highly, highly saturated, um, so it's a little more oily. It will sit on your skin for a while. Um, so one thing I will say for the high saturated oils, you don't need to use as much unless your skin is really dry. Um, they just just let them sit for a while and your skin will soak them up eventually um, it does not it has to me I'm gonna say like a medium strength scent uh, because we have its cousin um, which has the strongest oil scent I've ever smelled um, so I'm gonna go with medium and it's a white oil um it may look a little cloudy or clear when melted it's pretty easy to get coconut oil in its various forms um this is expeller pressed in this particular bottle but there's also cold pressed um this is uh organic and refined as well i don't know oh this is an unscented one Scented ones are a little bit stronger than this one here. So yeah, medium to high scent strength. Uh, coconut, we all know, feminine energies. Uh, it's associated with the moon, with the elements of water. Um, protection often is what coconut oil is used for in rituals. So there's that. Next, another one oil that I use so much um grapeseed oil and this is not my favorite brand but i grabbed it grapeseed oil is low saturation again body soaks it up relatively quickly and it is one of the three oils that i have used with the lowest saturation that i've ever come across so Grapeseed, um, sweet almond, and Jehovah oil, lowest saturation rates that I've experienced. Um, and it's made out of grape seeds. It's odorless. The only oil that I've come across completely odorless. Um, clear. It's a medium price. It's. I wouldn't say you can get this at any grocery store, but it's fairly easy to find if you live in a city or to order online. And so I'd say low to medium price range. And again, it's associated with the moon and female energies and water, same as the coconut oil. Um, grape seeds, like grapes, um is good for money spells or money magic um rituals where you want to do magic or enhance your magic or psychic powers grapeseed oil is a good carrier oil for that next up castor oil this is the only one i have Castor oil, I do not use in my products. I use it in my hair because my hair is like, girl, this is this is 4C curly hair. I need a thick oil. And this 
is castor oil, which is basically white, um, kind of clear. It's a very thick oil, very similar in consistency, consistency to coconut oil. Um, so, <coughs> excuse me, high saturation rate. Um, it's pretty low price. Um, it looks more like a cream than an oil, but it's, it is an oil. It has a very, has a medium strength scent towards the lighter end of the scale. Um, it's good for protection and comfort. I, it is one of the oils that I would hesitate to use regularly on my skin. Um, just because of the way it's processed and the way that, um, companies, uh, it's purity is not as guaranteed as a lot of the other oils I'm, I've shown you so far. Let's put that way. But I use it all the time on my hair because it's the only thing that doesn't sit there. And yet my, my hair, um, is moisturized. Like coconut oil, I can't use because it just sits on my hair. My hair doesn't soak it up. It's too thick. But my hair loves castor oil. Um, canola oil. Oddly enough, I don't have any of this in my house. And I'm kind of happy. <laughs> um, we've seen it all at the grocery store. We've, all of us at some point or another, probably use it in our kitchens. It is an oil that you can use. It is very inexpensive. Um... It has a low saturation rate, a yellowish color, and unfortunately a strong scent. And in part, I believe that is because of the fact that it is uh, so overproduced and used that um, a lot of the nutrients have been taken out of it and... The purity of the oil is not guaranteed. It has a very low shelf life. Oddly, you may not realize this, but your canola oil goes bad quickly in your shelf, in your closet. Um, so, if that food, if that fried chicken is tasting a little off, maybe not the canola oil. Um, but, if inexpensive is the way to go for you and you want something you know you're not allergic to canola oil is that I don't want people to think that they're doing uh, they're going lowbrow as they say if they're not using one of the more expensive oils um, there is nothing horrible about canola oil use what you have if you have it and go for it. If you need to make a lot and need it to last, then canola oil is probably not the one for you. But for every once in a while use or make as you go, it's just fine. Um, I guess it has a low saturation rate, so your skin does suck it up really fast. Um, and it will carry those essential oils into your body just fine. Next, corn oil. Another one I do not think to grab actually I do believe we have corn oil and um, it's similar to canola oil except it has a medium saturation it will not you know your skin will not um, suck it up as quickly um, it has a dark yellow color with a strong scent um, but it is inexpensive canola oil doesn't really do well with essential oils um, canola oil Corn oil doesn't really do well with essential oils, so I would not recommend it. But if it's what you've got, um, then do what you will. Some essential oils work better. I would do my research to figure out if um, that'll work for you. If it's more for magical purposes, I can see that. Um, then it's more about... Um, the ingredients then what they'll do for you then definitely go for corn oil um, if you have it it's associated with uh, Venus 
the and earth has earth goddess energies growth luck and divination um rituals and magic are all great for corn oil next all right now we're moving out of the oils into the butters so one thing to realize is that um these three butters are oils. They are oils. They're called butters because of the way they look. They're thicker, thicker than even this dry coconut oil. Um, and yet, they're still good for you. So first up, and I don't have much left, cocoa butter. Cocoa butter. This, if I can get it to show you, it's cocoa butter. It has like a uh, white to creamish, light creamish color, and it smells like chocolate. This is the strongest scented oil I've ever come across. No essential oils will outshine the aroma of the coconut oil, the co coconut cocoa butter. So, what you can do is use cocoa butter but in small amounts mixed with any other oils here or other butters and you get the properties of the cocoa butter without the scent overpowering everything also if you you know do your portions right this takes some uh, chemistry some mixing and testing things out um, you can get chocolate scents like chocolate and orange or chocolate and mint. Mint chocolate is a body butter that I happen to offer on Scarlet Moon Creations so go check that out in my shop link down below and it smells absolutely delicious do not eat it because that's not what it's for but um, you will definitely smell edible um so yeah, cocoa butter, high saturation. This stuff is thick. Um, it has a... It's pretty inexpensive. You can get cocoa butter relatively easily. And um, a white to very pale cream color. Um, if it starts to get yellow, it's gone bad. Throw it out. Get rid of it. You don't need that in your life. Um... As, like I said, a very strong scent. And, um, yeah, just good. I guess, um, definitely magic for beauty and, uh, maybe glamour, sweet smelling things to bring stuff into your life. Um, all of that is great, um, for cocoa butter. Mango butter. I don't know why I put this down. Again, another oil, but that's so thick that um, it's called a butter instead of an oil. Mango butter. It's basically white to a light creamish color. If it starts changing color, get rid of it. You don't need that in your life. It's It's gone bad. It probably won't kill you if you use it, but you don't need to because it's relatively easy to get more mango butter. Um, again, you see, like, this is this is chunks. The reason, the other reason it's these are called butters is when you put them on your skin, it starts melting like butter in a skillet, which is impressive. And butters, a little goes a long way with them, so you don't need to use a lot. Mango butter is actually um, medium saturation, uh, so it takes a while, but not as long as cocoa butter to soak into your skin. Um, it's not as moisturizing as other butters. It's kind of a dryish butter, so maybe more suited to people with oily skin, but that's up to you. It's low to medium expense and low scent. There's not really any scent for the, with the mango butter. Um, it's just a very light one. and You don't smell like mangoes, unfortunately. 
last but not least shea butter now shea butter comes in so many different types it looks a little bit different depending on what region of the world it's come from and um whether it's refined or unrefined and how it's been processed so this is raw white mango butter and I just pulled out a chunk because I actually could unlike the others um, so yeah where it's from uh, so uh, changes the color and it's low to medium price range high saturation a medium strength scent so it takes a bit of essential oils to uh, overpower the aroma but not too badly and that is the last oil that I've used these are all oils I've used myself some others I've heard of safflower oil uh, avocado oil um, let's see what else what else what else uh, oh I also use pumpkin oil and that is high in minerals and nutrients I don't use it a lot because it's like this greenish brown color which is off-putting to many it has a high scent a strong scent not as strong as cocoa butter but definitely strong medium saturation and um, just nutrient rich but I think it's a it's a bit off-putting for a lot of people so I kind of use this in my um, brown sugar scrubs and um, pumpkin and clove body um, body scrub um, so yeah, I am trying to think off the top of my head. There's tons of other oils. There's specialty ones. There's pomegranate oil and, uh, all, just, just so many others. Um, most of the ones I've mentioned are ones that are used professionally in the beauty care, skin care communities and industries. So, this is not just me pulling, you know, from the the folk traditions of the United States. This is um, just popular oils from around the world that I found and used and like um, for their various properties. And I hope this was helpful, if long. Um, this is just a basic primer of some carrier oils that you could use in your skincare, your self-care, in your spiritual care, um, rituals and that kind of thing if you would like. I hope this was helpful. Let me know about some of the carrier oils you used, how you used them. Um, did you learn anything new here? If you want to share some info with me because this is, you know, my life personally and business-wise. So if there's like info you think I should know, please put it down in the comments. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, hitting the like button, and subscribe if you would like to see the next video to come out. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!